Hi, I'm Dr. Max, and we're here today in Max Medical Robotic Hair Restoration Clinic, soon to be Max Medical Robotic Hair Restoration Clinic. Um, and we're on the day second uh, uh, of, with Ari, we had a big procedure, uh, 4,600 grafts. And when we do such a, uh, extensive uh, work, extensive procedure, uh, we usually split it into two days. So the first day we did, I believe, 2,500 grafts, and today we did 2,100 grafts. So far it went pretty well. Um, as usual, um, the procedure was done by harvesting from the back of the head, and we, in this case, we had to utilize pretty much the entire donor area uh, to treat Norwood uh, 6 uh, androgenic alopecia. The implantation, was done using direct graft implantation. As usual, the entire procedure is done by me from the beginning till the end, uh, both harvesting and implantation. And Ari kindly agreed to share his experience. Oh, by the way, yeah, it's a COVID time. Ari had his two COVID-19 vaccinations. I had my, so we can see the talk like normal, <laughs> normal person, <people>. yes. With, <laughs> Anyways, okay. I've looked around, I've done a research, I think for the past, I would say six months of where to go, what to do, who to go to. And when I came upon Dr. Max, um, our first consultation, something that set him apart from everyone else was he saw me, he asked me what I want, what I need, what my goals were and he made a plan for me that was catered to me and, no, and nothing else, nothing else in mind. And from the beginning, I was bothering him about, I want my hairline lower, I want my hairline, but he said, no, this is the way it should be done. And it, and, and it was just, it was something I felt was very personal. We had a connection right away. It was a, a deep connection. And that was something I, I said, like when I left the office, like I told, like I spoke to my friend, I'm like, this is the doctor I want. And every other doctor I spoke to, they're all like, oh, we oversee it, you know, do this, we do that, but no one gave me that answer. And he was straight up, he's like, I do it, and I do it from A to Z, I take care of it. And that was something that just sold me, and um, I must say this has been, it's been two days, and it's been, the best two days ever. The staff, everyone, the staff here was amazing, uh, accommodating um, to anything I needed, and um, I really appreciate this. How was your um, uh, post-operative? Because you know you you had your day one, right? And how was your pain level? How comfortable you were honest, after the procedure? It was. I was shocked. It was really no pain at all. Um, I, you know, even sleeping last night, I slept like a baby. I, well, you know, I woke up, I was like ready, I was energized for this, for this, for day two. Like people, like after day one, they're like, okay. But it was day one was such, such a breeze. I'm like, I could do four days of this, <laughs> and um, I really, um, and this was, I really think it was because of this. Uh, it was just a, it was, it was a really great experience, and I really thank you and your staff. For Absolutely. Me in this journey, no, it was, it was I, a pleasure, and I, and I will, uh, and I'll be here again very soon. Absolutely, yes. Uh, with Ari again, you know, uh, he does have an extensive hair loss, and it was pretty challenging. But you know, everyone is trained here, and we, I think we, we achieved better result than we actually hope, right? We yes. we, we planned originally 4,200 grafts. We're able to harvest 4,600 grafts. I was able to cover the entire area from the hairline all the way to the crown. And I see some pictures. Uh, and yeah, we, it's, we have months to come to see the results. But one of the things is that we do know that with direct graft implantation, we see earlier results because it's less traumatic to graft. There is less time than the, uh, it takes for the graft to be taken out from the back of the head and placed. The lesser time, 
less injury because of the lack of oxygen and the way they placed. It's also minimally traumatic to grab, so they have a better survival rate, better growth. We hope to set a new standard for hair restoration clinics, how doctors should approach the procedure, not yes. being just partially involved or not involved in all supervision. I think the doctors, they need to start and do more themselves because this is the doctor's responsibility and that's why they, you know. That is what sets you apart. I'm telling you, I, I really, I've been to, in New York, the big guys, like guys are like famous, famous uh, hair restoration doctors and they really, and every, and that was my first question because when I, when I, when I'm consulting with somebody, I'm yes. not expecting that that's the person I'm dealing with. Mm -hmm. And they, and everyone was like, no, we have we have technicians, we have people that do it. I oversee it. I make sure that it didn't do anything for me. But this was really the first place I found that we're Dr. Max, you know, in the word that where you did everything from A to Z, obviously with the help of your staff. But, um, but the staff is amazing here. The staff you know, is amazing I'm, here. And I, anything I do here, it's because I, I have great people who work with me. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for your trust. No problem. Thank you.